Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hero Spotlight. I'm game developer Newson Zing, and today I'm piloting Benji the Piercing Wind. Today I have Callum Gittins, who just recently came fourth place at the Auckland Calling. Thanks. Callum, how are you? I'm feeling good, man. Wish it was first, but the fourth place for my first calling is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And today you're piloting Ari Crimson Haze. I know. I should have an edge of autumn, but that's alright. Now, I've heard there's been stories about some other ninja being the best. And today, I'm here to prove you all wrong. <laughs> How many copies of Benji were there in the calling top eight? Uh. <laughs> all right. So, today my goal for this deck is to abuse hit triggers as much as I can with Benji's hero ability, which is attack action cards that, that I control with two or less attack cannot be defended by cards from hand. So I want to be Attacking with snatches, life for lives, mm. and so on to gain as much advantage as I can. Mm. I also aim to try to pull off as many fine center and heroin flight combos as possible to. Heroin's flight, right? Yeah, it's heroin's a different, flight. The other, the different other kind of uh, flight. <laughs> to try and maximize my damage output and my prevention, and my damage prevention. Since I am starting with 17 life. Yep. 17. He's a young hero. So he's, a, he's a wee whippersnapper. All right. Right. We're going to teach him a lesson. All right. All right. Here you go. Okay. Uh, would you like to roll? Yeah, let's do a high roll. roll. All right. Seven. Seven. Pretty good. Oh, six. six. Uh, right. I'll go on the play. All right. Good luck. Sweet. All right. First things first, I'll get my tunic counter on there and let's see what we got. Okay. Um, all right, I think I will start with an attack for one. I will block. Okay, I'll attack for two. Block. And then I will attack for a seven. Block for six, take one. Blocking for six, taking one. All right, I'll put a card in the arsenal. Oh. And to you. So I defend him with my hand because I don't want to take more damage than I need to because mm. I am starting on 17 life. Yeah, that 17 life is 20. It's really it's punishing, but right, uh, I'll draw. it does come with a pretty good effect. That is the trade off, I guess. It is. I should say, my goal, uh, I think, with Ira versus Benji is to try and get defense reactions in my arsenal. So that I can uh, block his his attacks that can't be blocked from my hand. I agree. I agree with that. So all right, let's start off with pitching yep, and playing life for life blue. Ooh, okay. taking the two unblockable. Yep, yeah, that's um, that's gonna come in for two. And I'll gain one life. All right, very, very good. I'm going to Kodachi for one. Um, oh, sorry, Kodachi for two. Kodachi for two, right? Because of Benji's ability. Because of Benji's ability. And you have two more. Okay, I'm going to block that. I'm going to play Soul Beast Strike. Taking Ooh, four. Okay, okay. Well, I think I want to defend with the five. Alright, cool. I'm going to Arsenal. Drone goes to the bottom. Yep, pass back to you. Okay, um, my turn's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to get the sigil out of my arsenal to gain some more life and put this card in my arsenal. All right. And pass it back. Two, six to two. I'm gonna pitch. Mm -hmm. Three resources. Take for Kadachi for one. I'll take one. Take for Kadachi for two. One. Okay. And um, this one, I think I might want to break up his combo here. Or let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna block this. 
this so that I can reduce the threat of a mass trigger. All right, I'm gonna soul beat strike for two. All right, I'm gonna use my defense reaction that was in my arsenal to block that one. I'm gonna break snap drain scalers. Ooh. Play crane dance for two. For rain dance for two. two, and I can't block with attack actions that have four or greater than four attack. Okay. Uh, you cannot block from your hand in general because of Benji. Oh, of course. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, all right, I guess I'm taking two then. Yeah. And then I'll follow it up with a fine center Ooh. attacking for three. For three. Uh, yep. Yep. One, two, three. And then I'll create a sin state. And the reason I can't block this is because I can't block with cards that cost less than five. Yes. Which I don't have. So, all right, you got the Zen State token. Nice. All my attacks are going to be much less powerful. All right. Uh, on my turn, I'm going to tick my tunic up. And I think I will start with a Kadachi for one. All right. Since they will prevent, <laughs> prevent the damage. All right. Kadachi for two, which is now reduced to one. I'll take the one damage. Okay, and then I'll go Pounding Gale, uh, which is now for four. Um, yeah, no blocks. Okay, take you take four, four damage. Go to 12. And I will Arsenal and pass my turn. I'm gonna pitch Lunging Priest and then Pitch and Lunging Kodachi Priest. For one. Uh, I think I'm gonna take the first Kadachi so hit. Oh, yeah. Three as well. Mate. That's cool. Uh, Kadachi will attack one of a uh, second one. Second one. Oh. Um, I think I'll take that one as well. Alright, I'm gonna play Life for Life. So that's for two. So two, unblockable from the hand. All right, I'm going to defend the field, yeah. from the arsenal. Play Soul Beat Strike for four. Right, so that's for four. And you have one in arsenal and one in hand. Mm -hmm. And you have one counter on the tunic. All right, uh, I think I'm going to defend that using my breaking scales and the soul beat strike for four. Sure. I'm gonna take reaction, I'm gonna play ancestral empowerment. Nice. Giving okay. a plus one. Um and you get to draw a card. Alright, I'll take the one. And then I will follow it up with a scar for two. And this doesn't have go again, right? Because we're on the same line. So yeah, yes, and as this is actually scar of oh, three. Oh scar for three because of Benji's yep. effect, of course. So I could block it from hand if I wanted to, but there's no mass trigger and I think I want to conserve cards in my hand to be able to attack on my turn, so I'm going to take that damage. Sure. All right, so this gets a battle worn okay. counter and then on my turn I'm going to pitch a fine center and come in for zero and then come in for one. I'll take one. Yep, and then I'm going to torrent of tempo for four. I'll block four. Okay, I'm going to put in some arsenal and pass it back. All right, Zen State. Zen State is gone. My attacks are back to full power. Until you get another one. <laughs> I'm gonna play here jab tech for two. Oh, block. Two, and I cannot block from hand. Uh, I think I'm gonna block with a flick flack from Arsenal.
I'm going to use Tunic. Okay. And play Razor Reflex. Ooh. Going to five. So that's up to five, is it? Yep. Okay. I guess I take one damage. Oop. And then I will play Heron Swipe for four. For four, because the Venge's effect. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to block the three, take one. I will. I will break the skills. Okay, okay so I take two. So I take two. Arsenal right. and pass. Okay. All right, I'm going to try and get some tempo back here, I think. Attack for one. No blocks, take one. And then a uh, command and conquer for seven. Hmm. No blocks. Oh, wow. All right, yep, take seven. no attention. Reactions? Alright, master blow. Oh, oh got, got my rid command. Of your own command and conquer. Alright, feeling good, feeling good. One, two, three, four. You must have a pretty good hand. I, I do say so. I, I do. You do. You do. <laughs> I'll attack for one. Okay, Um. I'll take this one. Attack for another one. Another one. I'm um, going to go, I do want to do want to break up your threat of a mass trigger, so I'm going to block that one. Yep. And then reactions, I'm going to play Wolf. Okay. So I'm going to choose the modes, next action card gets go again, mm -hmm. and um, I take actions. I control gain plus one attack and it it's Okay, that's sweet. So So that's no, the no one. Line. Okay. I'm gonna put Crane Dance for three with go again. Ah, uh, four, right, because uh, of Adam. Uh, four with yeah, go again. Sweet. Sorry. Okay. Four with go again. So that's gonna be bad for me if you have the heron's flight. I could be in trouble. So I guess I'm going to block this and pray that you don't have a Heron's Flight. So that's blocking for four, correct? Um, yep, that's correct. Right. I do have the Heron's oh. Flight, and this is taken for six. I'm gonna, I will choose the mode non-attack actions. So because you attacked with Crane Dance first, I can only block with non-attack actions, and, and I don't game. have any. So that's wow, game. what a game kill. What Thank a game. you, yeah, close. pretty good, pretty good. So Dang. I maybe could have uh, defended a little more, maybe I leaked too much damage to try and put pressure back, but uh, it's pretty hard with yeah. all those uh, unblockable attacks. Eh? The unblockable attacks were very important, plus... The Zen state, oh. but the Zen state prevented so much damage. It did, yeah. That's that's a good point. Yeah, the and um, Heron's flight was just to finish him off for the last six damage. Yeah, that's. I mean, six unblockable damage yeah. coming through is, is is pretty nasty. I mean, I've been doing that to people in Ira. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of feels bad when I'm on the receiving end of it. All right. So um, yeah. Once again, Callum, thank you so hey. much for joining us today. Uh, it's a pleasure. This has been uh, Hero Spotlight. I hope right. you guys will enjoy and play some Benji in your local armories. Thank you. Sweet.